Welcome back to Fair Sports Update. Time to talk men's basketball. With us, head coach Andy Bronkman. Coach, first of all, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me again. The season uh, well underway here. The Bulldogs, though, first conference game, uh, first home game this Thursday night against Lake Erie. Uh, how, how forward are you looking to, to that matchup on Thursday? Well, it's going to be good to be home. So we've had some tough road contests here in the first part of the season. And, uh, you know, we had some exhibition games at home. And that, that home crowd and, and the home rims that we're shooting on all the time, they're going to be a little more friendly. And uh, it's just going to be good to be back home. As we uh, talk about those first three games uh, you've played uh, here so far, a, a tough opener at Lewis uh, back on November the 20th, a uh, game that went down to the wire, certainly had every opportunity to win. Absolutely. Really satisfied with the way we played against Lewis. We played hard. We made some big plays, failed to make a couple plays down the stretch and uh, give them credit. Their guys stepped up and hit a couple big shots, one three-pointer in the corner that, that really hurt us. But uh, um, overall, you got to be satisfied with that type of effort on the road against a quality team. And uh, if we can play like that, um, during this conference season, we should be able to win a few games. You played a couple of games uh, right after that, uh, right before the Thanksgiving weekend at Winona State, a, a difficult tournament against some very top-notch competition. Yeah, it just, it just proved to be too quick of a turnaround. Um, you know, we came out of the gates pretty hot against Winona, taking the early lead, as many as six, I think, and then uh, down five at half, but wheels kind of came off in the second half. We really got hurt in transition defense, and, uh, you know, that, that can be for a variety of reasons. Certainly, uh, you know, a quick turnaround is one of them, but, uh, you know, the lack of preparation there in the transition probably hurt us a little bit. So um, we've been able to touch, touch on that quite a bit in our uh, last few practices and hopefully gain some ground there. But then uh, to again, uh, you know, get on the court again the next day against Concordia, who likes to get up and down. And again, we, we started out 8-0, to zero, had the legs, had the momentum, and, and that game was more of just just our playmakers who will make plays this year just didn't didn't put the shots in that they're going to in that game. So we had a lot of open looks, a lot of things that we um, wanted to see. It just didn't fall for us. So, you know, we, we start the season out with three tough ones and, and, you know, we couldn't come up with a victory, but a lot of things to pull away and adjustments have been made and now we're home. Yeah, obviously, those three tough games against uh, top-notch regional teams, uh, prepare you for the conference season, which is the ultimate goal. Uh, just talk about those three games and how they prepared you for the start of conference play. Well, our exhibition all the way up to those three games, I mean, we've, we've played a tough team every night, so we're prepared for the conference because that's exactly how it is. But, you know, it's good and it's bad because we're prepared, but it doesn't get any easier. So, um, you know, if we play well, we'll be in the game, it, and if, if we don't, we'll lose. So it, um, this particular team this year is not to the point where we can play you know our B game or our C game and still come out with a win we got to play pretty well we know that so we'll keep developing our players and uh, our system that we're putting in place and um, we'll we'll just keep at it I mean the guys are excited I'm excited and we're, we're staying positive so we're looking forward to these home games to kick off this conference season and start to get a couple wins the challenge starts Thursday night against Lake Erie uh, as you start GLIAC play obviously the first home game but also the first conference game uh, Talk about the Storm, a much improved basketball team last season. Yeah, you know what, They've since joining the conference here, they have three or four seniors, upperclassmen, that have kind of taken their lumps but played a lot in our conference. And, and now they're, they're pretty good players. Um, and, and they like to play fast, just like we would prefer to play. So they're going to press us a little bit, and they're going to get up and down. And they, they have some talented players. And uh, along with some freshmen, they're playing about three freshmen in the ro main rotation. And those guys are stepping up big in the in uh, preseason games and scoring some points for them. So it, it'll be, you know, pretty much down to the wire type of game. Uh, pretty exciting for the fans to watch. And uh, you know, hopefully we can. We've been just fortunate enough the last few times against Lake Erie to to get to get the win. But they've been good games overtime last year, I believe. So on Saturday you come back, uh, you host the Ashland Eagles, another one of those conference teams <coughs> that's uh, always right there in the mix at the end of the season, contending for a, a GLIAC tournament spot. Yeah, again, they have some, some key returning players. They lost a little bit, so they're trying to find themselves without Evan Yates, who is a um, several times all-conference player. But they have some veterans and some good shooters. And, and you know, again, it will just be, it's just going to be a great game. The, the south um, side of the conference has had a little bit of a wrap of, of not being as strong as the north. And, I, and this year, I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think those teams that have kind of joined our league and, and maybe at the at the beginning where the bottom feeders have now grown their programs and recruited the type of players into the GLIAC that make them 
you know, I don't know if they're, they're contenders, not everybody's a contender. I don't know if we are yet, but uh, they're certainly um, much improved and, and can definitely beat you. So this, the South is strong, the North is strong. This conference is as good as it's ever been. Over the last few years, the Bulldogs have been able to really uh, establish a home court advantage at Wink Arena, 10 and one in the conference at home last season. Uh, what does it take to kind of continue that trend? Well, we got to get the win. That'll continue that uh, that trend, but uh, it's just going to take discipline. And, and, you know, our team, our coaching staff, everybody is, is getting used to new roles. You know, our, our better players are getting used to being on the front page of the scouting report. And, you know, the coaching staff has new roles and the new offense. And so we're trying to speed that process up. But uh, um, here we are in a conference and we got to get a couple wins while we develop into our new roles. So that'll be the challenge. Yeah, play a couple games on the road uh, following the finals week uh, after this opening weekend homestand, and then obviously a game against your alma mater and Cornerstone uh, right before the holiday break. Uh, just talk about the stretch as you get ready uh, for the second half of the season. Well, we kind of look at these five games still to to really find ourselves, you know, and uh, hit January running with really the game plan for not only this season but kind of the future blueprint. Um, there's a there's a few things in our system that. You know, right now we're, we're sold on, we're buying into, but, you know, if you're going to make any changes, you have enough games under your belt to kind of really re evaluate yourself and self-scout, and then in January kind of settle into exactly what you want to do and, and then move forward. But we, we got to get a couple wins. None of these games will be um, givens, that's for sure. But if we can get into the new year with, with some winning experience and then just keep improving, then we can, we can finish out the conference season strong. Bulldogs, uh, certainly as you get ready to uh, start this homestand, you've had an opportunity to kind of evaluate your team here. Three regular season games, uh, three or four <coughs> exhibition games. Uh, just talk about maybe what the strengths are uh, of your team so far. We're, we're just going to have to do it collectively. You know, we have a lot of things that we'd like to do. And, uh, and I'm not sure we're doing any of them well yet, but we're, we're drilling them. We're, we're committed to them. The guys are buying in, so we're just getting better and better. Um, the strength of our team, um, what we want the strengths to be and what they will be as we continue to develop, you know, is to, to get defensive stops and push the ball. That's where it all starts. And then, I, I, you know, collectively, we, we can do it with four or five guys scoring in double figures. So each, each night somebody's going to have to step up. And, you know, so far we've been a little short of that, but it's young guys and, and they're in new positions. So there's no doubt we see that in practice every day, guys making great plays, being playmakers. So eventually it will trans translate to the court and uh, we'll win those games. Well, Coach, looking forward to the beginning of conference play, the first home games this weekend uh, against Lake Erie on Thursday and Ashland on Saturday. Uh, thanks, Robert. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.